All right. Hey, friends, I hope everyone is really excited about their life. I hope you're excited about what God is doing in your family, in your community, in your church, in your state, in whatever nation you're from. You know, because God is always moving. He's always doing something. He always has a plan. So I hope that you are just super encouraged today about all that the Lord is doing. And so I want to jump on here and and give you a word that I got last night in prayer. And, you know, I never planned to get like a prophetic word of the month, but God gave me a word for August that was so different than, than anything I've ever received for a month. But, but when I was in corporate prayer last night, God spoke this powerful word to me, and the word was misunderstood. And that's all he kind of gave me. So I just continued to pray. And, and then as I kept praying, the Lord started speaking to me about different people all throughout the Bible. And, and the Lord was just even showing me just, just different people, you know, like King David. David was the, the son that was out in the wilderness. He felt misunderstood his whole life. My other brothers are in the house. I'm out in the wilderness. But what you got to understand is he felt misunderstood, but he was in training. See, uh, when you are in a wilderness, a cave season, when you feel isolated from people, you may feel lonely. You are actually in a time that God is training you. I remember when I was 20 years old and I got radically saved, radically changed. Now, I'd accepted the Lord when I was younger, but I radically just transformed my life. God transformed me. And when I gave my, my life over to the Lord, I was misunderstood. I mean, I was hanging out with my friends and then the next day I was like radically changed. And everybody was like, what's different about you? And I was so misunderstood by everybody. But that time that I, I could have felt lonely or isolated, I used that time to just get with the Lord. You know, a lot of times people, and this is where they mess up, when they when they really give their life to the Lord, they always want to hang out with people. That's great you want to hang out with Christians all the time. But the thing is, you got to have some alone time with God. you got to have that wilderness. Just like Jesus. When Jesus, right when he was baptized, you think right after you baptized, times Jesus is about to go set the world on fire. No, he went into a wilderness season for 40 days and fasted and prayed. You got to understand that, that, you know, people are like, Jesus, what are you doing? You know, Jesus was misunderstood his whole entire life, but look at what his life was. You got to look at the apostle Paul. The Bible says that the apostle Paul was spitting murderous threats towards the Christians one day, Damascus Road the next and, and, and then, then speaking about God a few days after that. What in the world? Everybody was confused. The Christians were like, wait a minute. This guy was trying to kill me last week. Now he wants to come in here and minister alongside of us. What in the world? Paul felt misunderstood, but he said, I'm going to carry out the will that the Father has and, and the plans upon my life. Listen to me. You will always feel like you were misunderstood in your wilderness. You will always feel misunderstood in your cave season. But please hear me. God gave me this word for August to let you know the heavens are rejoicing in the heavens. Now, understand this. Everything is created in heaven, but it is manifested on the earth. If you feel like you are misunderstood, you are in the perfect place at the perfect time to receive the favor and the blessing of God. Whenever you feel like you are misunderstood, that is the time that God will pour out his spirit upon you. I remember times in my life when I feel like I was at rock bottom. I felt like everybody was coming against me. I felt like everybody just didn't understand me. I felt alone. That was some of the greatest times of my life. I remember my wife and I, there's been times we feel like nobody gets us. Nobody understands what we're going through and we felt alone but we had one another and we had the Lord those were the greatest times of breakthrough in our life the greatest times of revelation that we've ever had before in our life now let me tell you about Moses Moses was sitting out there taking care of his father-in-law's heard and then all of a sudden the, the Lord spoke to him and said hey you got to go back to, to the place they hate you he said whoa hang on now first of all um, I stutter. First of all, they don't like me. 
I'll be so misunderstood. Why would you send somebody who would feel so misunderstood to a group of people who don't even want them? Somebody, you want me to speak and I stutter? I'm telling you, listen, when you get your call from God, you're going to feel misunderstood even on your call. That's why you got to go for it. I mean, look, look at a, look at Esther. It was forbidden for anybody to come to the king unannounced, especially a lady during that time frame and in their geographical location, she said, I'll be so misunderstood. I'll be so misunderstood. I could lose my life. But she moved forward. The word I'm feeling from the Lord that is so powerful is to the people who feel rejected, to the people who feel misunderstood, to the people who feel like you've been in a cave season, in a wilderness season. Hey, listen, one of the fruits of the Spirit people don't talk about is gentleness, self-control, and long-suffering. You have been going through some things for so long, but I'm here to tell you by the Spirit of the Lord that you have gone through everything, but your preparation time was for a season, and it was also for a reason, and it is about to be manifested. You, you got to understand this. The favor and the blessing of God are about to come up on you. Everything is about to make sense. Everything is about to change. So I want to encourage you today. Get ready and go for everything that the Lord has for you. This is a good season for you to move forward in everything that God has for you. In fact, I feel so strongly about, about this, about people feeling misunderstood. My wife and I are about to do a six-week series starting August the 21st. We're going to do a six-week series. You can go to my website, jojodawson.net, get the information on that. And we're going to do a six-week series every Wednesday. And we're going to do it on moving forward past life's obstacles. It's going to be a phenomenal uh, mentoring class for six weeks because we know that there's so many people that feel misunderstood. But listen, there's so many times when man, when, when people, when men and women misunderstand you, it's because heaven totally gets you. Listen, man's rejection can be God's protection. God had to pull you out of some situations so he could put a download so you could release it. That's what it says in Ephesians 6.10 of the Passion Translation that God wants to do an explosive work in you so he can do it through you. If you feel m misunderstood in this world, one of the reasons you feel misunderstood is because you are about to release a revelation from heaven that the people around you cannot understand. So God had to pull you away, live in a season of isolation so he could push you forward into the kingdom manifestation of what he needs deposited here on earth. I hope that helped you. I hope it encouraged you. And my wife and I just want to be a voice into anybody's life who is willing to listen because this is the time so I always end everything with this. Um, if you want information on the the mentoring session my wife and I are doing, go to jojodawson.net. They're about to put that up. Also, you can go to my Facebook page, and we're going to be um, releasing that information today. Go through there. You can find that. Sign up. It's going to be a powerful, powerful time. Also, I want to offer myself to prayer for you. You can go to jojodawson.net and go on the email and if you want prayer, you can you can submit a prayer request. There's actually going to be a button on there. When you go to the email list, there's going to be three buttons. Okay, I'm going to tell you about the three buttons. One, you can submit a prayer request. I will pray for you. Number two, you can you know sign up to, to become a part of Aurora Apostolic Family. This is also another group page my wife and I have formed that we're going to do one to two videos a week just for Aurora family. It's kind of what I do on, on Facebook, YouTube, and Periscope, but it's going to be a little more intimate. My wife and I are really diving into the lives of people, and then the people that are in that will be able to message us and, and, and correspond and go back and forth. And the third thing, I'm so excited about this. My wife and I have become health coaches. I lost 19 pounds in two weeks, went on a vacation, came back, lost seven pounds the week I got back, and we are helping people take back their health. Whenever you take back your health, you can start to do physically things that you couldn't do before. You're able to just go after the things of God. And so I'm super excited about that. Go to jojodawson.net. When you hit email, that will be the third option. You can email us about how to take your health back. Now, the thing about that, 
I will be your personal health coach, which means we will be, I'll be talking to you one or two days a week. We'll, we'll be messaging. My wife and I will be messaging you to help you get back. Because here's the thing. We minister to people, spirit, soul, and body. We love y'all so much. If you want any information about anything I said, just go and you can get the information on jojodawson.net. And I hope y'all have an amazing, amazing.